So moving on to our second example build, this was sort of inspired by a customer uh, that came to us that was actually looking to have some test prints done to see if the system would work for them. And they had these uh, really interesting sort of spacers and some type of like crush washers that they were using for oil and gas. And uh, so I kind of recreated, I didn't want to use their exact parts. So these are just sort of recreations. And at first they wanted to just have an idea of what high volume build would look like for each one of these. But uh, as we were going through it, we realized that these parts actually fit inside of each other. So we can get a much better packing density if we print them all at the same time and just nest these parts inside. So uh, taking a look at the build, we're gonna use a couple of um, little tricks here by taking advantage of the array tool once again. Uh, and so in this case, we can actually stack up um, some of these parts within the um, group here. And so we can put four more of these, so we'll apply that. This one we can double up as well. And so we'll drop that to one millimeter. We'll get rid of these guys, we'll bump it up. And uh, so now we've got quite a few of each one of these. And then again, we can uh, start using some different tricks here. So we could array this thing out, but notice that we can't increase it any more than this. So this would be just four parts, but we're not quite meeting our packing density yet. So we're gonna have to use another trick which is just being a little bit smarter than the system here. And we can start to move um, all these parts into the corners. And now we've got space in the middle for one more. So we can just create a duplicate. I'll go ahead and slide this one over to the middle. We'll bring this guy down. And now we've got a 34% packing density. Uh, so we're looking much better here. And now we can start to array this entire group up uh, as many as we can. And now we've got 600 parts. Um, so there's varying numbers of each one of these things, but we can uh, basically split up our cost per part. Um, and it's going to be the same for each one technically after this full build. So uh, again, I've pre-done this one just so we can have the print times, which is 15 hours and 40 minutes. Chamber cooling is again, pretty similar, 13 hours and uh, 51 minutes. And now we've got our packing density of 33%. So we're good to go there. And fuse powder, 1.63 kilograms. And so looking at this one on the calculator, the entire build is $162.73. So divided by our 600 parts. Uh, we're looking at 27 cents for each one each one of these things. So um, definitely dropping our cost per part down here with uh, such high quantities and still meeting our packing density. So now let's take a look at one more example and we'll keep moving.